I could definitely take Luke. Uh, that'd be easy. Take him out first. Uh, I don't know, man. That's that's gonna be a tough one. Uh, I think he's gonna have to rely on his friends a lot. Um, by himself, I don't know how well he'd do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to cut people with his mohawk or something like that. <laughs> so, what do you think of filming the Vegas episode? Ooh, that was something special, you know. Um, it didn't really hit me until we were about to start filming it because that's like the biggest thing in all of the comic books for Billy is that is that whole scene. And yeah, it was for not to sound corny, but it was like kind of like spiritual in the way that people talk about like drug trips or whatever. It was like this kind of transcendent weird time for for the character and for my evolution of the character that he becomes kind of a different person after uh, after that. And even though he's the sober one there, he's like, he's had the same kind of crazy trip that it changes you, it changes your DNA when, when you go through something like that, the kind of trauma that he, he uh, went through there. So filming it was, uh, it was really special. It was like we were be really became, I think, a family at that point because it was halfway through the season. We'd all really gotten to know each other by that point. And lucky for me, we didn't have to do that right off the bat or anything. That, that was really special to be able to do that. that was really mm -hmm. Oh, what's that? You seem to bring a lot of comedic levity to the very ugly, very dark show. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you think so. <laughs> it was supposed to be that. <laughs> How did you balance the comedic and dramatic um, aspects in your character? How did I balance the comedic balance. and dramatic Ooh. aspects of your character? Because you have both. Yeah, um, well I think I just, I got lucky, very, very lucky with the, the writing, and I think I just tried to go and, and just be as free as possible, I think, I think just to just have as much fun as I could when he can, because I think part of the, as suffocating as the school can be for these kids, it also reaches inside yourself to be as free as possible because you try to counteract that all that so for the character I think I just tried to have have as much freedom to I think he's got life seems very short for him at this point and I think he's trying to love laugh feel all of his feelings as quickly as possible I don't think he feels like he has lo like long to live so yeah yeah there were, we already talked about Vegas, a lot of crazy scenes uh, in the season. What was your favorite? Ooh. Well, that's definitely one of my favorite episodes for sure. Um, I think um, shooting the threesome with Jack and Taylor, that was, that was something else. My first threesome scene, first of, uh, first of the show so far. I don't know how many more are going to happen. But uh, yeah, we were all running around in our underwear. We we're supposed to, they're like, we have all these modesty contracts where they got to come over and put a park on you right away. And like, we're, they're trying to make us feel all comfortable. And we just like rip them off and start running around the set. And just, so we, they, we, had, uh, we had a lot of fun doing that. I feel like you end up in your underwear a lot on that show. Though, <laughs> yeah, they, any, any opportunity they can. They, and it's always, yeah, in his tidy whities you know, it's like, they won't go naked. They won't, they won't, they don't want to keep them clothed, but they're just like tidy whities and, and like socks. That's <laughs> so it's funny, yeah. Who was cooler, French Stewart or? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that, man. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, both so cool in their own right. They had these, like, because the show is about the kids, and so they came in and made these, like, fully realized characters in like five seconds. I don't know how they did it. They, we got lucky enough that they cared about our characters and developing them. They developed them before they were even written. And and I think they're both immense talents and they both got to come back for season two. You guys, you hear that? Both of you guys. Yeah, I'm telling Henry Rollins what to do. <laughs> and then tell us a little about your D&D uh, &D character. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's a half-elf thief. They've jizzled him. His dad was an elf. His mom was human. And his dad left him at a young age. This is all just lore that I've been creating because we actually play D&D &D on the weekends in between shooting, which I hope we get back to when we start shooting season two. Um, he's very stealthy. He dies a lot, or he gets knocked unconscious a lot in our campaigns. Um, 
one of the <laughs> he's one of the guys who like runs in and just gets like killed right away. And everybody else just doesn't really want to revive him because they don't want to waste their time. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got no special powers or anything like that. Have you played D and D for the same? No, we haven't. No, does he play? He has, he has a podcast. Oh my gosh, he never tells me that. He's just like, leave me alone, kid. <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. Yeah, I know. We'll have to get him in as a guest on the on it for one time. Yeah, yeah. You play? Cool. cool. If your character could have a scene with any of the other characters that you haven't had to work with, mm -hmm. who would it be? Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, what would be the most interesting? What would be the most interesting? I think it would be interesting to see Billy with Brandy because I think that they're both like so like outspoken that it would be kind of see it, she would like even though he's white she'd still hate him. <laughs> She's like you're the one white guy. She'd find a reason. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys. Have a good one. Thank you.